Okay, today we're going to upgrade the Dell Alienware X17 R1 NVMe PCIe 4.0 SSD. Uh, here is the memory that we're going to upgrade it to. We're going to use the Western Digital SN850. And we already did the memory upgrade. Uh, for the, Karush, the the Crucial Ballistic uh, Memory uh, Kit, 64 gigs. So now we're going to upgrade the memory. Um, on the last video, we ran a benchmark, and the benchmark uh, outran or outperformed the RTX 2080 Super and the AMD 6800. And those both were the desktop cards. So now we're going to do the memory upgrade and see if how close we can get to the 2080 Ti and the 3070. So, in my last video, I talked about this cover. Um, if you look at this cover, it kind of looks really thin, and you might assume it's made out of plastic. But this is the most impressive bottom cover I ever lifted off of a laptop before. And it's actually not made of plastic. It's so light, um, but it's made of what Dale calls uh, a premium magnesium alloy. So if you if you look at this cover and examine examine this cover, and if Dell went through the means and the extreme of making something this advanced, this should tell you about the rest of the laptop. So like if you look at here, um, on this laptop, Dell did a lot of good things right in here. Um, I would like to explain. Um, one, if you notice, the motherboard, the CPU and GPU is on the other side. Um, of the motherboard now most manufacturers will put it on this side so if you have to repaste the cpu and gpu it's a lot convenient but you got to remember heat rises so once you turn it upside down that processor and gpu is on the bottom side of the laptop and therefore it traps in heat so if you look here dell has four cooling fans the heat sink is on the top so it rises it has a lot more vents than i ever seen um so they're doing a lot of things right here. So if you bought the Alienware X17 R1, um, basically it comes with a terabyte uh, NVMe uh, SSD, a one terabyte. So I looked at the specs on this, and the specs and the serial number off of this card actually, or, or, or this gumstick uh, SSD, matches the specs of a uh, Samsung uh, 970 Evo. So what we're going to put in there, we're going to put in a Western Digital Black. This is a SN850. Okay, I swapped out the drives. There's the Western Digital Black SN850 in its place. And there is the old Samsung. Now, the difference between these two drives, that is a uh, PCI 3.0. This is a PCI uh, 4.0. So, it's almost double the uh, performance of that old drive. So, that's why I'm replacing it. So, now with this drive is in here, I'm going to reinstall Windows 10. I'm going to run the Passmark benchmark and see if I can get closer and beat the 2080 Ti or how close I can get to the uh, RTX uh, 3070. So I'm hoping 
um i'm within three percent of the 2080 super um so hopefully we'll see what happens and then later on i'll probably do another video because if you look here we have two uh nvme slots here uh and they're probably both uh 4.0 so i'll put another drive in there and i'll configure uh for raid zero and see what kind of performance we get i know a lot of people are saying these drives are already really fast and you're probably not going to see any performance on there but I, i'm just curious i'd like to see um plus i'm a raid guy anyway so let's see what happens but also uh one thing um about raid now when we were running windows 7 you run the windows index experience uh, especially on a mechanical ssd uh you could the highest score you can get on that uh was probably like a, a six point or uh, a six point five um but i once took four cheetah drives on a sas controller a random raid zero and those four expensive 1500 rpm cheetah drives in raid zero could not beat the cheapest ssd uh 256 drive in there so if you talk about uh the and that was a sata 3 uh the cheapest uh uh sata 3 ssd four cheetah drives rpm and raid zero couldn't even beat that so that ought to tell you um how fast an ssd is and even though that was a sata 3 the sata 3 was like a 250 megabyte uh, or 300 megabyte uh, read and write um so now on these this one right here i think the max we can get out of that was like three gigabyte uh the uh read and 2.5 write. This one is, I know, a 7,000 uh, gigabyte per second uh, read and like 5,300 write. But still, that's really incredible performance um, when you're talking about these drives. So they're right. In RAID 0, um, I'm still a RAID guy. And, you know, the faster that we can get on here, the better performance you're going to get. So we'll see what happens. Okay, another great thing about this Alienware and its attention to detail, even on these fans here, these fans and these fan blades, you can feel that they're pre they're premium. These are really nice fan blades. I mean, this thing is like incredible, the premium uh, quality that's been put into this. So I don't know if these blades on these fans, if these are, if this is plastic or metal, it's hard to tell, but it's so premium. It feels very premium. It feels like it's a metal. I'm, I can't really tell. It's so hard to tell, but, um, yeah, and they're very light. You can feel and tell that they're very light. And I've been running this for over a month now, and there's no dust in here. So Dale did a great job of protecting this motherboard. So that way, if anything has spilt on this motherboard, there's a, a covering on the top side because there's a lot of vents. So they did a great job of keeping it covered. There's a, like a cover over the keyboard or underneath the keyboard. Um, and it just did a lot of great things in here. I'm very impressed. I've never seen any laptop with this type of... Uh, attention to detail and this quality so also want to mention too is what makes all of this so very uh possible is if you look here you'll notice that there's no cd-rom drive in here and there's no ssd so once computer computer manufacturers or i should say laptop manufacturers get to this point where the uh, the cpu and gpu die is shrinking so the way that works is when they make a die um and a disc when they make these, their, their philosophy is the smaller the die size, uh, the more chips per wafer, the lower the cost, uh, and the faster they get and the more performance they get. So if you look here, you don't see a drive bay. You don't see an SSD. So all of that real estate now um, in the board shrinking. So that's why Dell's able to get four fans in here because of the real, the real estate that's available and this new uh, Intel uh, 11th gen uh, CPU the Lever 800H and the NVIDIA RTX 3080Ti.